Okay, what I thought I'd show today is uh, the way that I cover my binoculars uh, when I'm out in the field and uh, both with uh, ghillie suit and when without ghillie suit but uh, camoed up and still trying to be somewhat stealth. Go ahead and uh, first off show you uh, my binoculars. If I move them around a little bit, you can catch the reflective portion in the camera there. So, I mean, this isn't a hundred percent, but uh, any little bit helps. Uh, the particular mesh that I'm using to cover the front of my binoculars, I'll discuss a little bit, a little bit later on. Um, what I use and the effect it has uh, when using the binoculars. All right, what I'm going to show is uh, basically just take them, taking the ghillie wrap that's on, off. The main emphasis of this particular video is not necessarily going to be the ghillie wrap itself, but the nylon mesh that is placed over the optics to reduce any glare uh, caused either by ambient light or by sunlight. As you can see, it stays on there pretty good. This is the wrap. Um, I'll be doing another video here shortly, um, show you how I do both my weapon wrap and uh, wrap for things such as a spotting scope or binoculars or other equipment that you may need to wrap. So what we're going to concentrate on this video is going to be these covers here and as you can see if I pop these off it's going to be cover that goes over um, binoculars, you can put it over a scope, uh, you can put it over a spotting scope, anything that's got a reflective lens that you're going to want to be able to look through. Here again, if I turn it just right into the camera, you can catch the uh, how reflective it is and uh, we'll show you how to reduce that. Can't eliminate it. If you were to eliminate it, then you wouldn't be able to see out of the binoculars. Okay, the first step that we're going to do, uh, I've got a short piece of the Paracord uh, 515 olive drab. We're going to bring it around the binoculars or whatever optic that you're going to be covering. And I'm just going to mark it. I want it tight, but I don't want it overly tight. If it's a little bit loose, that's fine, but not overly loose. You can see that that still slips up, up and over. So... I've got that marked. Take my pair of scissors. Use the razor blade as well, just something to get it cut. Then before I even really let any pressure off of it, I'm just going to melt the ends with a lighter so that the inner cord doesn't uh, fray or fall away. Okay, I'm going to hold the two ends relatively close to each other so I can get both of them with the flame at one time. And I'm going to heat up the ends so that the ends are nice and frayed or nice and hot and melty. Then I'm going to stick the two together. Roll them between my fingers. It can burn a little bit, but it's not bad. Nothing that's going to seriously hurt you. Now we've ended up with a loop. Nice and tight. Won't break apart. And that loop fits right over the uh, binoculars, like so. Okay, got the second side done. As you can see, we've got our two bands. 
So now the next step is going to be cutting out our material out of our netting. Let me take our material and we need to cut two squares. out of our material. Okay, we now have our two rings done. Cut out our pieces of nylon mesh that we're going to cover the lenses with. And I've also prepped two pieces of plastic saran wrap uh, that will be used to keep the glue off of the binoculars or whatever optic that you're covering. All right, during this step, we're going to get everything prepped to do our gluing. First thing we want to do is go ahead and put some plastic wrap down over both the optic tubes and covering the lenses. This will just prevent any glue, the shoe goo, from sticking to the binoculars. Use a rubber band, a piece of string. I got some pipe cleaners here. I'm just going to attach this down so while we're handling it, it doesn't slip. Do the same on this side here. Next thing we're going to want to do is take our mesh, place it centered over the lens, take one of our rings, force it down, and you can put this down as far as you want. Um, I'd go at least a half an inch. Anything less, you take the chance of it popping off when you're using it. So we're down nice and tight. Don't know how well the camera's going to pick that up, but you can see across the nylon mesh here, we're nice and tight. Do the same on the other side. About the only thing you want to do is make them even as far as how far the rings down it's actually really aesthetics and doesn't matter as far as use goes but it just makes it look a little a little nicer get the two rings down i like to rotate them around and see them a little high on this side here so i'm just going to even even that up we look good a little. Okay, the next step we'll do is we'll move on to shoe gluing the bands to the actual mesh. Okay, we're ready to do our gluing. I like to use popsicle sticks, tongue depressors, break them down, and then that one broke to just a little bit too much of a point, so I'm just going to take a razor knife and snip it off. What this will allow me to do is take a little bit of shoe goo, pick it up, and then I'm just going to spread it down onto the net and onto our paracord here. And I want to build up a pretty good ridge right there of it coming off of the netting up onto the actual paracord so that we get good adhesion. And I'm going to go ahead and shut the video down. I'll glue it and then show what it looks like after it's glued. Okay, I've got both sides all glued up. I've let it dry for about uh, 45 minutes. And so what I'm going to do now is just carefully remove both of the lens caps and sometimes it's easier just to take the wrap off and do it with uh, the plastic and then peel the plastic apart. So give this a try. The glue is still a little bit soft. It wouldn't hurt to let it sit longer and uh, 
set up, but I like to get the plastic off of it so that the uh, glue can dry from both sides. What we're going to do is uh, at this point just carefully reach back in here, peel this plastic off. Once the plastic is off, you can see it's form fitted. I like to just go around and make sure that everything is seated against that paracord. And then we're going to let this go ahead and sit just like this, at least for another half hour, 45 minutes, and really let that shoe goo uh, set up. Then we'll come back in and trim it up. So, Okay, we got the uh, netting cut out. As you can see, they're starting to take shape pretty good here. The last thing I do before I do the final glue is I just take a, a big cigarette lighter or any lighter and I just come right along the edge real careful and I just melt down that nylon web uh, or the mesh right along the edge so you don't have a bunch of little threads or nylon sticking out. So I'll finish these up then we'll do the final glue on them. Okay, we've got the uh, edges all burnished up with the cigarette lighter. So now what we're going to do is take a little bit of uh, shoe goo. So I just put a little bit on my finger and I'm just going to work it right around the inside. And what this is going to do is just help attach both sides of that cord to the netting or to the mesh. We've already got it glued on the outside. Now we're going to glue it on the inside. The other thing you can do here is if you made your loops a little bit too large and you didn't use the elastic cord, you used a, a paracord like I did, you can do a little extra glue buildup in this step and uh, that will help uh, keep the covers on. So I'll go ahead and finish gluing up the insides of these two, and then we'll move on to the final stage, which is just coating them with a uh, flat, uh, non-reflective paint of your favorite color. Okay, glue is all dried up. Uh, last thing to do is we just want to knock off the uh, reflectiveness of the actual nylon. It's got a little sheen to it. Uh, so I'm just going to use some Rust-Oleum Camouflage, uh, this is the non-reflective finish, uh, ultra flat, really good stuff, and this particular is Deep Forest Green. Just shoot those up real quick. And I want to get it real good from all angles because that shoe goo actually also is very uh, reflective as well. So we'll... Uh, Tip these at all angles. I'll finish this up, let it dry, and uh, we'll do a final fit, make sure that they fit right, and that will probably wrap us up. Okay, and there you have it. All finished up. Glue and paint is all dry. You can see her go ahead and put it on. It can be a little bit tough to get on until they get worn in a little bit. So what you can do is carefully just kind of stretch it out if you're not using the uh, any kind of a elastic band that goes around once you get it stretched out a little bit and it'll uh, loosen up after uh, going on and off several times put it down you want to make sure that that netting or the mesh is pulled nice and tight so it doesn't uh, block your view and there you have it Hope this helped. Just one other way of camouflaging and reducing the reflection off of your binoculars. You can see it doesn't add any weight at all.